much further today, hopefully. As you can tell, we just kind of move it around the shop wherever we best can fit it. We're gonna catch you up here on getting this stuff installed. I know you haven't seen it yet, but don't worry, we still recorded it. Uh, we got the oil pan gasket for this, and the intake manifold showed up, and we have a bunch of other gaskets for the, the small things that get attached to it to still go on. But for right now, other than maybe getting some new timing covers just to make sure it looks pretty, we're gonna be able to get this most of the way done this video. So yeah, let's go to that recap and then start on the oil pan. So now that we have the timing stuff taken care of, I'm going to get the bottom of the engine ready for the new oil pan, which involves cleaning up the rear main seal cap and getting a new rear main seal in here, which we have right here. Next is gonna be putting the windage tray on, followed up by the pickup tube. And then after that, we should be all set to finally put the oil pan where it belongs. So I'm gonna start by cleaning this up, going over the parts washer, hitting all this stuff out, and then getting all the leftover Honda Bond off of it so we can put new RTV and have a clean slate. We're gonna put the uh, Remain seal in it and then slide it over the crank. And then we'll start doing the windage tray and stuff. So that feels pretty level. Now we're gonna put some RTV on here. I'm gonna get the assembly lube, lube up the inside like I did with the other stuff so it slides on nicely. Give her a little lube. So I got all the bolts ran in, final torque on the rear main, and then we'll move on to the windage tray and the pickup tube. Let's move on to the unboxing and hoping that we have an oil pan gasket. Oh, we got a cat. Oh, we got a couple catalogs. We definitely need that. Oh, we got stickers. There it is. Oh, it fits pretty nicely. Yeah. This is uh, the oil return for the turbo. Already welded in, just capped off. On the back side, I believe this one um, you can use for a oil temperature sensor. And then I think that's it on this one. Some of them have a third one, but yeah. On Honda oil pan gaskets, people put a lot of RTV, but you're really only supposed to put it where Essentially metal meets metal. So there's the four spots front and rear. We're just gonna line it up. Now, the one thing that hasn't changed about Felpro is a Honda gasket, you put it on and the bolt holes are really easy to line up. This one, some are pulled this way, some are pulled that way, some are pulled this way. It's not perfect. So we're just gonna have to line everything up the best we can. All right, so we were running around and uh, we got a little busy, but we were about to leave to Ace. And Charlie and Sarah next door from Sarah and Tune had bolts for us, so. Definitely saved us the trip, and they're very pretty. Oh, these fit so much nicer. Sarah actually came in clutch because we used every single bolt in that kit uh, for this. It had the exact amount of bolts that we needed. 
show them the crusty. Yeah. What is it? This is the thermostat housing. It goes here, but we're not gonna put it on yet because this looks horrendous. So I'm gonna go clean it. This is a kit to put. <laughs> nothing, no. nothing. It's just a this kit is for nothing. nothing. This is a kit for nothing. It's a kit to put a K-series intake manifold on an H-series. Because no one likes the ugly ass H-series manifolds that are all super long and they almost touch the firewall. That is so true. And uh, allows you to run a lot better intake manifold designs and stuff too. I think we went with the RBC manifold on this one. What else is in here? Oh, throttle body do hinkies. This is an adapter to run a B series throttle body on the K series manifold. Yeah. Yep. 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 So, uh, H series head, K series manifold, B series throttle body. I'm improperly removing the studs. Some people might tell you this is the right way to do it. However, what you're actually supposed to do is grip it and rip it with a pair of channel locks. So what you do is you put this one nut on like that, and then you put this one on like that, and then you tighten them together. And you stab yourself in the hand with like one of these studs. Getting it nice and clean because someone gooped it up because they don't know what they're doing. All right, so the valve cover, as we said, has to get cut for the cam gears. Tuna! What's going on, Tuna? You wanna help build an H23? Yeah, I don't either. So what I was talking about with cutting it across here and just making the, the face completely open isn't the greatest. Um, what I was thinking about doing was just doing two circles. That way you could get to these bolts because I like the covers being as close as they can so that we don't have a chance of bigger stuff falling in there. This intake manifold that we ended up getting is actually someone who sells them on eBay and I think he has a an actual website for him. Um, but. He takes care of the, uh, like he already had the parts, so we didn't have to worry about any of the containers, but he takes the OEM intake manifolds and he clips them and shaves them, which is around here and down here, because we don't use this water port over here. We don't use it at all. So this just needs to clear. I'm still praising this guy for how he delivered the product and the price, definitely fair. I'm gonna work on the intake manifold next since we've got most of the little stuff taken care of. Um, I wanna get the exhaust manifold mounted. I think we're gonna use some, some more of the stuff that Sarah lent us or let us use. studs that the intake manifold slides on. Uh, I'm guessing I just have to thread them in to a point where they stop and then we slide the intake manifold on and start bolting it up. All right, so after Fred got done what he was doing, I took out all the little studs that they gave us and put in the studs that were 
on the H before, which should give us way more than enough meat on the threads. So this should be a going on. Oh, beautifully. Look at that. Intake manifold, throttle body all set. I like how this looks. It's definitely a lot sleeker than the H23 manifold would have been. Oh, I'm so glad that they actually made this to where you can just push it on. If any of you have ever done a turbo manifold, there are manifolds out there where you have to like hold the manifold back a little bit, start it, and then push it on because there isn't enough room. But this one looks fine. Fred actually said that he remembered the exhaust nuts were in our tote of parts. So we got rid of Sarah's and then put these on. And yeah, I'm just gonna do some good and tights because I can't get a torque wrench on like most of these. Ooh, that nail! Pretty done, dude. Wow. Thing of beauty. This has to come off. It's just sitting on there right now but we gotta take this off and get this uh, painted satin black, sandblasted, trim it. And we need some covers, but aside from that, the long block is looking pretty assembled. We got, you know, little odds and ends, some coolant tubes and whatnot to button up, but I think next step is order a transmission and a clutch and then test fit this thing, man. And, uh, I gotta work on this thing. You can bring it in. Woo. That's good there. That's good. <laughs> 